What's up guys, this is Luke from Android Create and today I'm going to be doing a little overview of an early build of a Cyanogen Mod 10.1 based custom mod for the HTC Sensation. Now uh, first of all I want to say thanks to uh, Bruce2728 for developing this and porting it over to the Sensation. He actually developed the same ROM uh, as the one I reviewed last time which was the Cyanogen Mod 10 based ROM which is of course based on Android 4.1 and this is based on Android 4.2. So uh, let's get started at the lock screen. This, bear in mind guys, this is actually a very early build, it's only an alpha stage I believe, so uh, don't expect too much, definitely don't use this as a daily driver, there's still a lot of things missing from it, such as um, uh, I think Bluetooth, audio, uh, Wi-Fi is working actually, which is good, um, the camera isn't working and I think a few other smaller things aren't working, so unfortunately I can't show you uh, some of the uh, key camera features that came with uh, Android 4.2. But I will show you that in another video in a uh, because there is a, there is a, an Android 4.2 transformation pack available for users who are on Android 4.0 and up. So I will show you in that video. So don't worry about that. So anyway, let's get started. Right, right from the lock screen, you can see a significant change. You can actually swipe between lock screens. It's actually called a uh, I think it's called what a welcome screen or something like that. Uh, I think Google are calling it that now because you can actually do stuff with it rather than lock and unlock. So you can add widgets here, you can see I have my calendar and messaging, and uh, you can add another one right here, Gmail and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool guys, actually I really like that because you can just get started from the get go without unlocking or typing in a lock letter uh, or anything like that. So anyway, just to unlock you tap on that little icon there. And there's no Google Now option now, or I guess there's no camera option because the camera doesn't work on this version. But anyway, let's just swipe to unlock. And right here we have the standard home screen, you're used to, you're used to this, but uh, we have a new uh, kind of clock, it's, it's pretty cool actually, it's pretty slick, I like it. Uh, so I actually, this ROM actually runs really smooth, I actually really like it, if only if it had the, the key features working like audio and Bluetooth like I mentioned before. Uh, so anyway, let's hop into the messaging app to show you the new keyboard. So, uh, so Android 4.2 brings uh, a new swipe feature to the keyboard, even though it was already available in third-party par applications like Swipe. So uh, now we have it right from the operating system. So basically, it's very easy. It's very self-explanatory. So basically, it's like uh, I, ow, oh crap! <laughs> I'll try that again. I, ow, are you? This is a lot harder to do on camera than it is in real life. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's very easy. So it's just I. How are you? It's like that. It's very easy. It's very. It's much easier to use than it looks on camera. Believe me, it's actually brilliant. I love it. So the next new feature in Android 4.2 is a notification bar. So right here, it's pretty standard. You know, you have your toggles here, like you used to before again. Uh, but you, you notice this little icon here. So tap on that, and you get the a lot more quick toggles. So right here, you have my name. I think that brings you to your Google Plus account. Uh, you have your brightness toggle here, your settings, your Wi-Fi, your mobile data, your battery percentage, airplane mode, Bluetooth off, and you can add uh, more toggles if you want. Either I haven't figured it out yet because I've only been using this ROM for about an hour or so. I just wanted to get it on video as soon as possible because I actually backed up my current ROM. Uh, so yeah, basically, you have a bunch of toggles there. You can add more of them. As I said before, either I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, or else it's not on this ROM yet. Because as I said, it is an alpha stage, an incredibly early build. But I just wanted to show it out to you guys to uh, tell you that it's out there and show you some of the uh, new features of Android 4.2. So another way to access this uh, notification bar is using your two fingers and swiping down, as opposed to using one where you just get your standard one. And again, you can tap like that, and you go and you tap there, and you go into your Wi-Fi settings. I think actually on the on the latest version of Android 4.2, the well the released version that came out on the Nexus 4. Uh, when you actually tap on them, it changes them live, and you don't actually have to go into the settings like like you do here. So uh, maybe that's another limitation of this ROM uh, so far. So another new app that came with uh, Android 4.2 is the new Clock app, which I don't know if a lot of you will care about, but I actually think it's pretty cool. The stopwatch uh, part of it is pretty cool. I like the UI. Look, say like this. Just say start. And the cool part now is when you do a lap. So that little uh, red thingy goes around like that and does a lap of the time that you already did. I actually really like that. I think it's really cool. And so you have your clock here. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. So uh, yeah, that's that's the clock. So again, you can. There's a uh, there's more interaction in the in the uh, uh, notifications too. So for example, from the actual notification, you can start it again. You can reset it. 
whereas before you could not do that. So uh, would I recommend you to use this ROM uh, on a daily basis? No. I would recommend this to developers, to people like me who just want to see the new features for themselves, who want to just basically get a first hand look, um, but not use it as a daily driver because uh, not enough features are working, it would be impossible to use it as a daily driver. What I would suggest to you is to, if you're running an ice cream sandwich ROM or a, a Jelly Bean 4.1 ROM, get the uh, Android 4.2 transformation pack. I'll put a link in the description and I'll be doing, a, I'll probably be like my next video. Uh, I'll be demonstrating that Android 4.2 transformation pack because it brings all of really the best features besides the notification bar here to Android 4.1 and Android 4.0. I think actually you might be able to use it on Android 2.3 as well, but only on certain ROMs. Uh, so yeah guys, I hope you liked it. Uh, ROM itself runs really smoothly. Again, it's just lacking those key features that you need to be able to use this every day. I hope you like the video guys. Uh, please subscribe and comment and like. Ask me any questions you want. Apologies for the excessive breathing and everything. Again, I, I was really sick over the last few days, so I'm still recovering, really. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, guys. And thanks again to Bruce2728 for developing this ROM. I hope you develop it further, man. It's awesome so far. I just need a key features again. Anyway, guys, see ya.